Welcome back, Sabe families. I want to give you all a warm welcome to our 2020 back to school night. Due to the devastating impact the CZU Lightning Complex Forest Fire has had on our community, we have decided to record and share out this presentation rather than host our back to school night live over Zoom. As I shared with you last week through two letters, some of our SEPA faculty and staff had to evacuate, and many others are caring for family, friends, and pets who have had to leave their homes. I'm certain many of you have been impacted by these fires as well. Our thoughts and prayers are with everyone impacted by these fires. Finally, please know SEPA is here for you should you need support. And with that, onward to our back to school night presentation. To begin, I want to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Rip, and I'm the head of school at Saba College Prep. We have a two part agenda to our back to school night meeting. The first is a head of school welcome led by me. During the head of school welcome, I'm going to discuss three items distance learning tips for success the schedule, and the SABA family communication. After I'm finished with my head of school welcome, our grade level teams will come on and they will provide grade level expectations. Each individual teacher will provide an introduction and then each individual teacher will give a short class overview for what their classes will look like for the upcoming school year. Like I said on the previous slide, I will be discussing three items this evening. Tips for distance learning, schedules, and ways we communicate. First up is tips for distance learning, tips for success. We learned a lot in quarter four, and after reviewing how we did as a school, as well as reading what other schools are doing around the state, I came up with three basic tips that I think, actually I know, that if you follow, you will be successful with distance learning. Tip one, show up every day. One thing that was very clear from the data is that students who attend school through Zoom every day do much better. Grades are better, they feel less stressed, and they feel confident that they know what is going on in their classes. What's the key? Showing up every day. Turn on your Zoom, answer emails, turn in your assignments every day. Do this and I am certain you will be successful with distance learning. Tip two, make a daily schedule. Too often I've seen kids seem lost confused and take way too little or way too much time to complete assignments. This often is the result of students not having a structured schedule. My second tip for success with distance learning is to create a daily schedule. Wake up at the same time, eat breakfast at the same time. You may even wanna think about taking a shower just as if you were planning to come to the building. Follow the, your schedule of Zoom classes. And finally, make a clear break between fun time and work time. This is difficult with distance learning with all of the fun things you can do with your Chromebooks, but it's also incredibly important. If you're supposed to be doing classwork, do classwork. If you're supposed to have fun time, then you can have fun time. By following a daily schedule, you can enjoy your free time knowing you've completed all of your responsibilities for the day. Finally, tip three. Too often adolescents and teenagers want to retreat to their bedrooms and shut out the world. But this is not good for their mental or emotional health. Connecting with others is what makes school special for many. 
Just because we're physically distanced from one another doesn't mean connecting should stop. Call your friends. Talk with classmates on Zoom. Talk with your teachers on Zoom. Open up to your families. These are all ways you can connect with others and be successful with distance learning. I want to take a moment here to pause and discuss Zoom and how that's connected to connecting with others. Too many students think going to Zoom meetings means turning off your audio and video and just listening to the teacher. That's not connecting. Connecting is talking to your classmates and your teachers by using your video and your audio. That is our expectation for all of you at SABA. Turn on your video and turn on your audio when you're on Zoom. Okay, now that we've discussed tips for success with distance learning, I want to discuss our schedule. I've broken down our schedule into two parts. The first part is Mondays. Mondays will continue to have six classes or periods, but there is a new live component that I've highlighted in yellow. Your first period class will now become live and function as a homeroom for 15 minutes. This is an opportunity to connect with your classmates and your teachers. Take a look at the school announcements and plan for the upcoming week. This live session on Zoom also will help you to maintain a daily schedule. One of the tips for success I mentioned on previous slides. So students, the expectation here is to be up and on your live Zoom classes at 8 a.m. every day, including Mondays. This new live interaction begins this coming Monday, August 31st. Be sure to tune into your live Zoom class for period one. Let's move on to our Tuesday through Friday schedule. While the schedule is staying the same, just like Monday, Monday we're adding more live Zoom interactions. Now each of your classes Tuesday through Friday will begin with live Zoom sessions. Support and intervention will continue to take place on Wednesday and Friday, but we'll do so after your live Zoom session. I have bolded the times you all need to remember. 8 a.m. for periods one or four, 9.20 a.m. for periods two or five, and 10.40 a.m. for periods three or six. Be sure to tune into your teacher's live Zoom sessions each period, Tuesday through Friday. My final agenda item is the SABA family communication. I wanted to spend a moment to discuss how SABA communicates with all of you. I've broken down our communication into six main areas. First up, phone calls. You may receive phone calls from the office if your student does not check in for the day. You also may receive phone calls letting you know that there is a tutor who's eager to support your student. This could be in the form of a grade level academic coordinator check-in who wants to support your student. Phone calls are a simple, easy method that SABA uses to communicate with our students and their parents. Next up, text messages. You will receive text messages that will remind you sometimes when live Zoom classes are starting, that your students need to turn in missing an assignment, or they may be, uh, uh, there might be a link to a live, le uh, a live uh, a letter within the text message. Last week, I sent out two letters to our community in response to the fires. You would likely receive these in a link through our text message. If you have not received text messages, please call us so we can correct your name in our system. Third, emails. Similar to text, SABA will send out emails to families who have indicated this on their emergency card they filled out. Messages that go to text will also be sent 
by two uh, families' email addresses. Fourth, Schoology. Schoology is our learning management system. This is where teachers post assignments and where students can access their assignments, complete them, and submit them for a grade. Teachers will also post student grades on Schoology. Parents, please check Schoology regularly. Your students know if you do, and they will be more motivated to turn in work if they know that you'll be checking on a regular basis. Fifth, our weekly newsletter. Many families shared they want to know what assignments will, are coming up for their students. Our weekly newsletter seeks to resolve this issue that parents expressed. Every week, teachers will write down what students will be doing for the upcoming week. Read this letter over with your students and ask them about their assignments. This is a great way for students and parents to connect. Finally, social media. SAVA maintains both an active Facebook and Instagram account. SAVA staff will share out fun photos and videos as an additional way for SAVA to stay connected with all of you. This concludes my head of school introduction to the back to school night recording. I'm now going to hand it over to our grade levels to introduce themselves. Welcome to back to school night for grade seven. Welcome. Welcome. All right, let's go and get started, shall we? Alrighty, so um, in grade seven, um, we have a special Monday math schedule. So if you have students in different grade levels, their Mondays might look different, but they're gonna be meeting with Ms. Cotto on Mondays and they have specific schedules to follow um, which block they have math. Um, the students have been emailed this and it's posted to the majority of their teachers um, schedule pages. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, they have block one, two, three, and PE. PE they have from noon to one. Um, do you wanna add anything, Ms. Pertuzzi? I would just like to say that for PE, the students have it on both days, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. They are separated into four groups, group A, B, C, and D. Those groups and the names of the students in each group can be found on my Schoology page. However, I have emailed the students to let them know when I should be seeing them live on Zoom. The other days, I do not see them live. They are still expected to log into Schoology and complete the assignment as necessary. Thank you. And then on Thursday and Friday, they have their block four through six. Um, and daily, they are expected to show up for live Zoom. Again, for Monday, it's math only, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, they need to show up to all of their classes. Oopsie. And I want to add that on Mondays, make sure to check Schoology for your assignments in your other classes as well. Thank you. All righty. And then here it is in Spanish. So uh, in grade seven, we have um, virtual norms that are the same across all of your classes. When we are doing live Zoom sessions, we ask for you to be visible to please mute yourself if you're not already muted when you enter the session to participate. Um, so come prepared and be an active participant. If you have any questions, ask to speak before unmuting yourself. You can type question or a question mark. And then um, please use headphones. They help limit distractions and hear you clearly and also help you to hear us clearly. All right, Ms. Cotto. Hello everyone, I am Ms. Cotto. I am the math teacher for seventh grade. We have daily live Zoom classes every single day, Monday through Friday. Okay, there's three main uh, things we do on the computer, Khan Academy, arithmetic.zetamac.com, aaamath.com, and they have to do these every single day. Next. Okay, thank you. My big thing is there's no late work accepted. They're going to be doing Zoom every single day and they are required to attend and participate. 
When the students work on Khan Academy, they have da four daily assignments. They need 80% on each assignment. They have the binder paper homework that's due daily from Khan Academy. They also do aaamath.com daily. They have assignments and they upload a screenshot. Arithmetic.zetamac is the same thing, screenshot, and they do it daily. That will help them with multiplication and division. And there is where you can reach me, también habla español. If you need to talk with me, feel free to email me and I will get back in contact with you. Thank you so much and we're going to have a beautiful year. That's me. Hi, I'm Miss Williford. I teach a science class and I'm very excited to take the journey of science with you all this year. Um, your seventh graders will be learning first quarter. We study the uh, earth science. So we understand the basic non-living parts of the earth, like what's inside of it, the tectonic plates and the rock cycle. Then we can move on to the rest of the living parts of our planet the rest of the year, um, where we are studying second quarter ecosystem dynamics, like how animals and plants interact with each other and how energy flows through our world. And then quarter three, we move on to natural selection, which can also be thought of as change over time. And then quarter four, we move into cells, genetics, and heredity and understanding why we are all unique and how we were all unique. So on Mondays, your students will have a science assignment every Monday, but they're gonna do that assignment independently on their own at home. Of course, they can email me for questions or if they need help. Tuesday, uh, Thursday and Friday, that's a typo on there, there will be uh, mandatory Zoom classes for about 20 to 30 minutes and they'll be right at the start of the block and then they will have um, usually an assignment they need to complete on their own for the rest of the time. So we will commonly use Schoology, Zoom, Google Documents, BrainPop, Quizlet, Kahoot, Edpuzzle, and I'm sure many more platforms will be on there. I love using different forms of technology to keep the kids engaged and having fun while they learn. So my expectations is that uh, they check Schoology and their Gmail every single day. Um, they need to be looking in uh, their science section of Schoology every day for, their, for today's agenda and the assignment. And every day of my class B days would be Monday, Thursday, and Friday. I do expect they complete all their assignments. I do accept late work, but I will take 10% off for any late work. I do expect that they attend all of our live Zoom classes on Thursday and Friday, and that they communicate with me and let me know when they're having uh, any difficulty or need help with anything. You can contact me at my email, it's just my name, ashley.wilford at Saba Prep, and I do have a Google Voice number on the screen there that you can text me or call me at. All right, <laughs> thank you. Um, so my name is Ms. Rankin, I am the English teacher. Um, what we're going to learn in class um, this year, we're going to read four different novels, The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, and American Born Chinese by Jean Yang. Throughout these quarters, we are going to read short stories, some articles, and a lot more. We're also going to write, write and write, like so much writing. Um, we're going to have lots of discussions uh, on our thoughts and opinions, and um, my main goal is for us to grow. On Monday, students will complete their work independently and they can email me if they have any questions. Um, on Tuesday through Friday, they're gonna have mandatory Zoom sessions right when class starts for around 20 minutes. After those mandatory Zoom sessions, students can work independently on their assignment or stay with me for additional help. Um, sometimes I will assign students to stay with me um, to have discussions after class. My commonly used tech platforms are Schoology, the Google platform, Quizlet, Kahoot, Actively Learn, Edpuzzle, and I plan on using a lot more as um, we go throughout the year and we become more comfortable with certain uh, tools and platforms. My expectations, um, I don't accept late work, but there are some expectations or exceptions, oh my gosh, uh, illnesses, power outages, things that are out of their control, um, I will make exceptions for. Um, I do expect students to attend Zoom class when mandatory and to communicate if they have any difficulty or need help. Um, daily, I need students to check Schoology, check the folder for work, attend our class, and complete any assignments for the day. You can contact me through email. Um, it's my name, Glennie.Rankin. 
I have my Google Voice number where you can call me or text me, and you can also message me through Schoology. Um, I don't speak Spanish very well, but I do have some assistance and I can translate texts and emails and messages. Um, so if you need to speak in Spanish to me, that is totally fine and I'll respond back. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Sage. I'm your student's world history teacher this year. Uh, in seventh grade history, what we're going to learn and focus on is we mostly focus on the Middle Ages into the Enlightenment. So in sixth grade, they learned ancient history, and now we're just continuing on with that. So right now we're working on our Fall of Rome unit. Uh, next will be feudalism, uh, learning about different religions like Islam and Christianity, the Black Death, the Renaissance, Reformation, Age of Exploration, Mesoamerica, Scientific Revolution, and Enlightenment. There's so much packed into one year of history. Um, uh, the bigger thing that I do focus on is skills that we learn or improve throughout my class is our reading comprehension, document analysis, and writing um, as well, and a lot more. When it comes to live Zoom versus independent assignments on Schoology, for live Zoom, all students are expected to be on Zoom at the beginning of their class block every Tuesday and Wednesday for history. So they have me on Tuesday and Wednesday for history, along with those Mondays, um, where we won't be meeting on Zoom. And that's where we have our independent assignments on Schoology. Independent assignments will be posted on Schoology for students to complete every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for my class. For our commonly used tech platforms um, in history class, I post everything on Schoology. Um, we meet on Zoom a lot. I use a lot of Google Docs and slides for creating their assignments uh, to make it easy for them to follow. I love BrainPop and vocabulary. That's what we're going to start with, but there will be more to come as we get used to uh, distance learning this school year. My expectations. One, check Schoology and Gmail daily, just like Ms. Williford said. Complete daily attendance clicks, so don't forget to take uh, attendance and remind your student to make sure they complete their attendance before noon each day. Uh, check daily assignment folders for attendance, where that's where it can be found, the day's agenda, and assignments. Complete all assignments for the day by its due date. Uh, late work is accepted in my class, but will lose a portion of their credit. 10% uh, is deducted from their grade. And late work should be completed as soon as possible. And students should also attend Zoom for my class every Tuesday and Wednesday, and students should communicate when they need um, help or if they're having any difficulties. I'm always here for them. And last, here's my contact information. You can email me at kelsey.sage at sabaprep.org, or you can message me on Schoology as well. I'll respond to either one. Hello and welcome. My name is Mrs. Petruzzi, and I will be doing the Character Strong and Physical Education uh, class for your seventh graders this year. Uh, this year, we will learn a couple different things, many different things. Um, we will start off um, our Zoom sessions, usually doing positive social, emotional, and character development. Um, that's our character strong curriculum. But I will also be intertwining and weaving in different physical fitness components to keep your students' bodies moving during distance learning. The platforms I most commonly use in my class are Schoology. I do separate each day into a folder where the students can do their daily click, read the agenda, and complete any assignments that are in those folders. Uh, quizzes will also be taken on Schoology. Uh, if we do any projects, we'll be most likely using Google Slides. If I have additional assignments, we might use Google Docs. And just like Ms. Rankin said earlier, um, other platforms may come into play as the quarter or semester progresses. The expectations of for PE class, okay? Students need to check the PE Schoology page on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, um, even if they don't see me live. They need to check the daily folder and read the agenda. That's the key is the reading of the agenda. They need to attend their live Zoom session, which I explained earlier can be found on my Schoology PE page. And if they do not have a live Zoom session with me, Again, they need to complete any assignments as necessary. My contact information is there on the screen. Uh, the best and quickest way to get a hold of me is via email. 
And it's my name, Heidi.Petruzzi at savaprep.org. I also have a Google voice number there, 831-288-2054. That's mainly for text messages or voicemails. Um, you can call, we can schedule a Zoom call if you need to. My link is on the PE page, um, or you can send an email or message through Schoology as well. Hello, Seba, seventh grade families. Um, if you're, I'm, my name is Miss Emery, and I am the resource teacher. Um, if your student has an IEP, then they work with me in directed studies on Mondays and Wednesdays. So the goals for directed studies are to uh, successfully complete all class assignments and to make progress on IEP goals. Um, the schedule is that directed studies takes place on Monday's third period, which starts at 920 and on Wednesday's third period, which starts at 1040. I'm also available from 10 to 12 on Mondays for additional support. And um, I can also arrange for other meetings if they need even more support. Um, I have emailed a schedule to each um, IEP student. So they should have a personalized schedule with Zoom links. Um, check their email if you haven't seen it. So this is my contact information. Um, best way to reach me is through email, but you can also send me a message on Schoology. Um, there's a Google voice number there, and you are also welcome to uh, arrange for a Zoom meeting with me. Um, all this information can be found on my Schoology page as well. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Cardona. I am the grade level academic coordinator. And I am here to support the students and their families. So you can reach out to me with any questions, uh, any difficulties you may be experiencing. Um, I will be communicating with teachers and staff in order to best support your students. Um, and I am here for any of your concerns, any of your students' concerns, you can reach out to me at any time. Here's my contact info. You can text me, you can call me at this number. Um, you may also reach out to me by email and we can schedule Zoom sessions if we need to discuss anything with your students. Y también hablo español. Right. And thank you so much for uh, watching our presentation. If you have any questions or concerns about any of us or any of our classes um, or what we do, please reach out to us. You can always email us or reach out to us on Schoology or through our Google Voice if we have them. Um, thank you so very much and I hope you have a fantastic time. Bye.